Everyone asks what I want to do when I graduate, and I can't say that I really know, but I do know that I want to be successful. The problem is knowing what that really means. I think success for different people uh, means different things. I don't think success personally is like a monetary uh, thing you, you can put a price tag on. Success is, um, you know, waking up, being happy every day and looking forward to what you do each day. I think success means to me um, achieving goals that you set for yourself, I guess, to the best of your capabilities. I think success can be defined in like any smallness or largeness, just as long as you achieve what you want to achieve and are in some semblance happy with it. I think success for me, for me, like, it's changed over the last few years. I'm about 24 now. Originally, success when I was in high school for me kind of meant, you know, going to university, getting that good job. For me now, it is more about achieving what you aspire to do and being happy in life as well. And suddenly, you're a gold medalist and a national hero. And then about 10 minutes or 11 minutes afterward comes the news that uh, you've in fact missed out on the gold by the narrowest of margins, by a fraction, one five thousandth of a second. Point zero zero five of a second. Well, it happened to Aussie Grant Davies. After seeing that footage, I don't know who better to ask about success than the man himself, Grant Davies. Hi, so when and how did you get into kayaking? I got into kayaking was about 1984. Um, I was watching the Olympic Games and a lot of the Australian athletes in the kayak team, sprint canoeing, they also paddled surf skis, which I, I was paddling at the time. I've been paddling since I was 13. And a lot of the, the competitors in the Australian team I was very competitive with. So I thought I'd just try uh, kayaking. Um, it's a very similar sport, it's just a lot more technical sport. What was your initial goal going into the Olympics? I just wanted to come away from the game so I did the best I could. I wanted to be competitive, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and I wanted to probably have no stone unturned to make sure I was prepared the best I could. Have you always been this competitive? You know, I suppose I've always been competitive since I was young. Mm -hmm. uh, I was always more the smaller guy in the group, so I was yeah. always trying to prove myself. Grant Davies is in fact the uh, second lightest of the uh, the people in the nine, so I suppose they'd have to weigh his heart to find out just uh, just how powerful he really is. So, can you talk us through your mindset during the race? When you're racing, it, it, it's look. Most people, when they make the final, anyone's mm -hmm. a chance to win it. It's usually from the shoulders up. It's the one who can clear their head and really focus on what they do. This stage now, he's only placed fourth in all his regattas this year. This could be the race of his life. He's gone out very, very hard. Grant Davies is looking great here for a third medal, but uh, the Russian is keeping in there. Greg Barton, Valau, Valavi in Russia. Grant Davies is coming through. So it's the United States paddle of the Australian and the East German. There's only going to be inches and on the line. And can he do it? Oh, it's so close. So initially you were told that you got gold, but then you actually found out you got silver. What went through your head at that moment? Yeah, naturally you'd be a little bit disappointed, but my whole aim was to go to that final and race the best I could, and I couldn't have yeah. done anything more. Yeah. You know, and if that's what they chose, he won it, and yeah. I got second, that's the way it is. So you still felt successful in that sense? Oh, sure, sure yeah. I did. Nobody gave him a chance of, uh, of meddling in this. All credit to Grant Davies. He, uh, he paddled like a, uh, a, a performer who's, who's done this time and time again. Well, we shouldn't be disappointed. That's a fabulous performance from the Boilermaker from Queensland, a silver medal to Grant Davies when they finally got their timing right. It's, it's, uh, it's only sport, mm -hmm. and we forget that sometimes. Yeah. It's only a game. You're enjoying yourself. Yeah. So going forward from the race, um, do you think you carry that into that mindset into your life um, with your family and your kids and just, ha you know, being happy? and Oh, and sure. Also yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think sport yeah. actually moulded me into the person who I am today. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it, it taught me... A, not to take things too seriously, yeah. but you know, and to enjoy. You've got to enjoy life, and I think that's to have a successful life. You don't need a lot of materialistic stuff. You just got to wake up every day and love what you're doing, you know. And 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 that, to me, that's being successful. Not, I've got a job that you know. I work on the council, I work on the beach. Mm -hmm. It's not the biggest paying job in the world, but I get by, and um, I love going to work every day. I've got great mates. Yeah, you know, and, and, and but my sport probably helped mould me into the person I am today. If that's the worst thing that could happen to me, I've got a pretty good life ahead of me.